Yeah. Um, welcome everybody out. Uh, so the topic tonight is types of headaches. So with essential oils, it really is more effective if you know what is causing whatever ailment you're experiencing. Um, because you know, essential oils help the body boost um, immunity, boost its ability to deal with those things. So um, the topic tonight is different types of headaches, understanding why you have the headache, because there are different solutions for different headaches. And so I'll just uh, turn the time over to Jade. Um, yes, thank we're gonna you. We're going to go ahead and share the screen here, yep. and this is jadebold.com slash headaches. Yes. <laughs> so in the past, um, you know, prior to oils, a lot of people would just take um, headache over the counter drugs, and um, they don't know that these oil these drugs actually just stop the brains from feeling. The headache is still there, but it just um, it stops the communication so that you don't feel, but it doesn't solve it. And um, so I had a, my daughter actually a few years ago in Australia. They have this health clinic van. It's an education van. They come to Australia. I mean, they come to the different schools there. And they give education. They say, oh, drugs are bad. You know, don't take the drugs that people, people give you. But then there's some really, really good drugs that you can take. Um, so, you know, they're talking about the... Um, you know, uh, what do you call it? The over the counter. Yeah, over the counter drugs that are good. Anyways, they explained how it works with headaches, for example, and they said it well, stops your head, you from feeling the pain. And so, and my daughter says, well, wait, it stops my body from feeling pain, but it didn't say that it was took, took it away. And then she was only in second grade, and she came home. And she's like, it doesn't make sense to me. And I thought, wow, she's so smart. It doesn't make sense because you're. Your body's trying to tell you something. Um, earlier, Debbie Gordon was saying, you know, your body, your body tells you stuff, your spirit tells you stuff. All of that is interrelated. It's all linked. Um, and it helps us as part of our progression. As we get better, we can prevent problems and we can think differently. It's how we eat, how we think, how we sleep, how we, you know, move. Um, and all of that is just related. And if we just, you know, say, oh, what's that? I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to numb it. Um, it doesn't help us be better. It doesn't help us improve. So what we want to do is help people recognize the different headaches that they have. Um, I, at first, when I have when I first introduce oils to people, I've had people come up to me and say, what oils for headaches, Jade? And then um, the next thing I would do is start assessing, telling them, asking them, what kind of headache do you have? Do you have? And some, of pe some people have really looked at me like, what are you talking about? What do you mean, what kind of headache? A headache is a headache. And I thought, no, there's a, a few different ones. And I asked them, is it that time of the month? Is it, you know, and I just kept asking different questions. What's happening in your day? What's happening in your life right now? And then, um, you know, it slowly trains them to think differently about headaches. So I want to hear from you guys. Um, what have, your, have you experienced? Um, what are you, have you learned about headaches? What type of headaches do you have? Yeah, yeah. So any comments here? Um, my son has migraines. My daughter used to have them, but not so much anymore. Um, and I've had hormonal headaches, transitional headaches. I've had some different ones. So once I saw the types, I kind of kept it on the refrigerator so that Ethan or I or my daughter could run and be like, what is this and what do I need? Because, um, with Ethan, if it builds, it'll last so long. It'll, it'll take him out for a day or two. So if he catches it right away, he actually has figured out which ones he needs to go to and he'll go to it. And, um, you know, if not, he's like, maybe it's not that kind of headache. And I'm like, well, go look it up and see. But I can say for Ethan, um, before we knew of essential oils, he went to neurologist and they tried and in fact, I just ran into two women today at the vet who were talking about migraines and how different things weren't working. And I told them that he actually went to the hospital and had infusions and it was not, none of it would take away the pain. And so it really wasn't doing anything overall anyhow. And it would just knock him out. The pain medicine would just knock him out. And so we were just saying that this is, 
you know, he was six, he was in sixth grade when it started, or fourth grade when it started, sixth grade when it got to the worst. And he said, "This medicine never helps me. Never helps me." You know. Not and to so, mention the last medicine I took used to get me high, so that was weird. Yes, he just came in and and asked me when I was muted and said, "Um, I, my knees hurting, my head's starting to hurt." So he was asking where the um, deep blue was, but um, he 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 would never ever have relief. And he said, "This is not a solution." So when we got the oil, he, you know, I was like, "Well, we need this, but we need to try that." And um, you know, he's he's learned how to do it. And the thing is, he doesn't have to wait forever. It won't take it won't take him out for two days at a time. Um, it'll go away fairly quickly. He can reapply it if he starts to feel it come back. And it's starting to get less and less where he's had chronic migraines where he would have so many in one month. And now he can count one or two a month. It, I mean, it just, <laughs> he just said it's been the only time that's ever happened in years. So. He said this is the first time he's been a full month without one migraine. So he's counting the days like a month. I finally made it a month since I was 10 years old with no migraines. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people that actually suffer from it. And, you know, sometimes it's it stops your life. It holds your life. And so um, in sixth grade, he literally missed so much school. They had to hold him back. And they had to have homeschool teachers come there. But we were at a loss. We couldn't. We just had to follow what the doctors had. And so now, six years later, <laughs> um, or five years later, he is like, you know, finally, I have an answer. So he's happy to tell people, you know, he's 17, so he can do it on his own. And he's like, oh, you have a migraine? You need this because I've tried everything that the doctors could find, and this is what worked. That's so I think that's a huge. That's huge. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, years and years ago when I was still living in Ohio a lady came up to me and she said what oils for migraines just like you and I said just try this try this and she's like oh too many too much and so she bought to the whole family um, oils and um, she went home and she just dumped it on her head just whichever one she felt like and she, she doesn't want to stop and ask me for uh, uh, like instructions she just like I just don't worry I'll figure it out and so um, what happens was she, her family had, as uh, you know, generational uh, headaches and migraines. Her mum died of a uh, stroke. Her, uh, um, her grandma and her aunts, they all died of migraine-related strokes so of some sort. So she was on preventative medication, but it was for strokes. And um, she said any time it, it comes, she would have it for two weeks. And it's, it's just hell for her family because she's just she can't bear it and uh, she's nasty to everybody and um so she emailed me uh, after she joined doTERRA and she said um she, when she felt the um the headache coming on she said i dumped all the oils that i had on my head and she said within 20 minutes it was all gone and she was shocked because she's like it's, that's not two weeks like she had experienced before and so she was like over the moon, but I wish I could <laughs> sit down and explain to her the different types. So that's all right. That's all right. See, so you know, even if you kind of play around and, um, you know, experiment, you'll, you'll stumble across something that will help you. So that's awesome. All righty. Anyone else with uh, questions or comments before we get into this here? No? Okay. So we'll start with the first one, and it's the hormonal headache. Did you want to um, talk about? Mm, yep, I sort of mentioned that already. Okay. Your body kind of tells you, it talks to you. Okay, so yeah. hormonal headache? Yep. So with the hormonal headache, that's just um, your body trying to balance a new hormonal level. There's just sometimes, um, you know, when you know, your certain estrogen's high or progesterone's high, you know, and it's just changing, your body has a difficult time and um, you might have some sort of headache. And so for that, we use Clary Calm Blend. It's a roller bottle and you just roll it on the inside of your arms, on your abs, so you can smell it. And then also take the phytoestrogen, the herbal uh, complex, and that's really good too. I would take it before... Um, 
just a couple of days before uh, your cycles. And, um, you know, if you know that it's coming, that will help, you know, um, your body manage the imbalance. Okay, and, and may le not lead to a headache at all. So that's good. Um, anyone with questions or comments about that one? No? Uh, whisper is another oil that's fantastic for hormone balancing. So you might want to try Whisper too. It smells like perfume. Uh, and so that's, it's just calming, helps you be more uh, relaxed. All right, so that's hormonal headache. Uh, so the next one is overstimulated headaches. So I, I ask people all the time, what's happening in your life? What's ha happening recently? Sometimes too much is happening and your brain is trying to wrap itself around concepts and ideas and not able to organize properly or understand properly what's happening. So that's really, really easy to solve. Um, you can use lavender and balance and frankincense across your forehead, on the back of your neck, on your ears, big toes, rub it on the bottom of your big toes and inhale and just allow your body to relax, allow your brains to wrap through around things. Um, and, you know, if we think about the cypress oil that we just talked about, um, it's a, that's another oil that helps things flow. But sometimes too much is happening and you're holding on because you're trying to understand everything. Um, and there's time that we can just say, look, there's a lot happening, but I'll just let things go and I'll, I'll wrap my head around it all as I go along. Yep. Everybody okay with that? Yep. 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 Yeah. Okay. So the next one is not enough oxygen headache. Okay. And that's fairly simple. Sometimes you, you're so busy or you're so stressed, you forget to breathe. Have you experienced that before? <laughs> yeah, you catch yourself and you're like, oh, I have to tell myself, deep breath in and out, breathe. <laughs> and, you know, that's very quickly um, resolved with your breathe oil, um, peppermint oil and frankincense. Okay, put that in a diffuser or put it in your palms, rub your palms together, cup it over your nose and mouth and just inhale and just get it in, get it into your brains, get it into your head, okay, get it into your lungs and um, give yourself a few minutes and uh, you'll see that that's going to help that. Um, if you tend to um, forget to breathe, tend to be stressed like that, it's going, it may lead to some gut concerns. So, you know, cleanse out your gut, use digestion often because when the neurotransmitters are healthy, then um, you find that you're not so stressed anymore and you're able to digest new information, assimilate new ideas, okay? So that's one way to fix that. So don't think that, hey, I'm just a worry wart, I'm just, this is how I am. If you clean out your, your gut, you're gonna have a better brain function. Okay, anyone want to say anything? Yep, all good. Okay, so we'll just move on. The next one is transitional headache. And this one, I don't know um, if people will talk about very much. It's when you um, have too many roles and you have a hard time changing roles. Okay, an example is with my friend. She, ha she is a teacher, so all day long she teaches high school kids and that's a stressful job enough. But when she gets home, she doesn't take that teacher hat off. Um, she puts the mommy hat on and your wife hat on. And, you know, it just, she says, I don't know why. Every time I walk through the door, you think that I'm going to be relaxed and say, hey, it's the end of the day. She said, I get a headache right away when I get home. So we figured out that just smelling the rosemary oil or rubbing it on, just a couple of minutes of that helps her you know, relieve that headache. And I remind her that, you know, when you're smelling rosemary to help it along, you can actually tell yourself, take off that teacher hat, I'll deal with that later. This is mummy time. And I tell a lot of my teammates, the people that I'm mentoring, to stick with their time blocks as much as possible. We're human, so things happen. And um, but the idea is if you have this time with your family, then just be with your family 
the business can wait and you know things will work out somehow okay um, and vice versa Alrighty, what do you guys think? The transitional headaches? Anybody experience that? Yeah? These are quite I the classifications, I... Jade. Pardon? I would have never known to classify headaches in this manner. This is really enlightening. I appreciate this. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I can relate with every one of them, so thank you. <laughs> There's a lot working with so many people, and they just complain like, "No, Jay, that uh, lavender, lemon, I mean lavender, peppermint, and frankincense—it didn't work. It didn't work. I don't know why. I keep trying it." And then I realized, I said, "Tell me more about what's happening." And then I realized that she can't take her teacher hat on and take it off and all that. And I thought, "Hey, why don't you try rosemary?" And boom, that was magic. And she said, sometimes she doesn't even have to put it on, just smelling it just for a few minutes, just boom, done. <laughs> magic. And I thought, yay. Okay, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought? So that's really good. Um, the other one is dehydrated headaches. Um, I have so many people tell me, oh, these oils don't work. I've got this oil and this, this headache and it's just not going away. And then I ask them, have you eaten a lot of sugar lately <laughs> or something like that? And they're like, how did you know? And I thought, well, it could be a dehydration headache. Um, so, you know, just drink water, but to help the water absorb more, you can put lemon and peppermint in your water. For some reason, the water is absorbed much better with these oils in there. I had some girls that play netball in Australia and they tell me, yeah, Jay, we, we drink water all the time. You know, still have this problem. And I said, well, just do one drop of each of these oils, lemon and peppermint in your water. And then they report back that none of the girls on the team get this problem anymore. They don't get cramps either. And I thought, oh, okay, that worked. <laughs> Somehow that lemon and peppermint just does the job. It says, hey, let's go in and get into the body. I don't know. But uh, yeah, dehydrated is a very uh, a big problem because it sort of shrinks your brains and it, it kind of separates your brain from the skull a little bit too much and then you get headaches. So I had a, um, a lady, she had to take her, her son to the hospital because he couldn't stand his headache. It was just so bad to try to use all the oils. And she texted me from Australia and I asked her, what, what's, um, what happened before that? Did, um, did he eat a lot of sugar? And she said, oh my gosh, how did you know? We just had a school fair and he loaded up on sugar. And I thought, oh, well, that's your problem. <laughs> that's your problem there. And you hear the doctors going, I don't know what's happening, whatever, you know, they're trying to help. I don't know, I don't know how to alleviate that uh, discomfort for him. So, yeah, that's dehydrated. Okay. That's interesting. Um, the other day I, I didn't drink any water and I had gone ahead and gone out and I had went to a, a fast food place with somebody and I had gotten picked up some tea, some sweet tea. I haven't had sugary stuff to drink in a long time. I just drink water with lemon or grapefruit in it. And I started sipping on that and I was just so thirsty. I sucked the whole cup down. And by the time I got home, I had a huge headache. And I was just like, oh my goodness, I haven't had a headache in a long time. And I was trying to think what in the world. And I thought it had to have been the sweet tea. It was just plain sweet tea. But it, I mean, I had a headache and it was starting to get to the point where it was really bad. And I keep my water with either lemon or grapefruit on the countertop. And I grabbed it and just started chugging the water down. And I would say probably within 20 minutes it was gone. Um, but yeah, I thought this sounds perfect then. Now I know it's the sugar because <laughs> that's the only thing I had to drink for. It was, I mean, like all morning. It was probably about one o'clock before I had anything to even drink for the day. Oh, wow. So yeah. that makes sense then. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Cindy. Yeah, now we know, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tension headache. This is something we're familiar with as women. So we got tense neck and shoulders it means, you know, just the, what do you call that? The stiff neckedness. <laughs> yep, that's what it says in the Bible, right? And sometimes we hold on, we're like, gotta know everything, gotta figure this out, have to have control. And we don't mean to, but we, tr we try so hard to help everyone and to overdo our service to the point where we're self abusing. 
Um, and so this tension headache, we have Aroma Touch oil, uh, your past tense oil, you even you can use deep blue oil, depends on which one you like. Um, and you can rub all three on, but just dilute it because it's gonna be really strong and massage it on your neck and shoulders and just relieve that tension and then your head will feel better. Okay. <laughs> um, I had a lady just last week and she said, I do not like aroma touch. I cannot, you know, she said, I have lots of neck and shoulder problems, but I do not like aroma touch. And I said, do you have a hard time relaxing? And she looked at me like, how did you know? <laughs> you know, and her friend's like, yes, this one, she's a control freak. <laughs> and she asked, well then, your body's telling you that um, you're gonna have to learn how to relax and delegate and share the load whatever it is that you need to do because otherwise you'll keep getting this problem and it's not fun. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, it's not fun, obviously. <laughs> but and it's so funny that our, our body lets us know what's happening. Okay, so that's tension headache. So let go <laughs> of control. And, and you know what, I feel like I've made a huge um, change in that area too because my neck and shoulder used to hurt every night before bed so that was the routine balance to stop my brains from thinking too much and you know the aroma touch on my neck and shoulders so i can relax but now i can just relax without using it so often so that's good proud of myself pat on the back <laughs> i wanted to add something um so i was reading in the living magazine and it was talking about um how deep blue has turmeric and ginger in it and i was recently doing some research and found out that turmeric is really good for headaches and was like messaging my friend and she said you know that her grandma uses it and it works really well for her so i went to the store and i bought some turmeric but i was like you know this just like i didn't feel like it really worked but then when i was reading the living magazine and it said that the deep blue had it in there I was like oh that's so cool because I know that I can trust this product and so now that's going to be my go-to when I have those tension headaches and it's really good for like the inflammation too so I thought that was really interesting thanks for sharing that's awesome my mom does that Desiree I does mean, she? she does it she does it all the different oils but sometimes it's just so weird she's very intuitive so she's like oh, i have a headache she reaches for her frankincense and other day she's, she reaches for her deep blue polyphenol that's what you're talking about and yeah. I'm like, oh okay because i'm thinking achy muscles and joints and things but right. she reaches for that for that too mm -hmm. the other thing for for most of us and this is for my mum too this is a gallbladder headache okay um so i do a lot of muscle testing for people and sometimes this is so linked to their gallbladder that I never realize. So the meridian, the Chinese meridian for gallbladder, there's a lot of points on the side of your heads, all over on both sides. So if you can look up that picture one day, you can see that it just has one point after the next, it's all around. And uh, people that have, say, gallbladder problems, or they have, to, they have an infection in the gallbladder, um, they generally might have, um, they complain about a headache too. Okay, and for that, um, you want to use lemon oil, geranium, and juniper berry. And my mum, intuitively, she uses the Zendocrine soft gels. Okay, just two of those uh, with water. It's, yeah, I learned so much from her just being intuitive. But that's exactly what these oils uh, yeah, are in. Um, so that's really interesting. Uh, anybody else have had that uh, problem? Did you know about the gallbladder headaches? No, it's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So I'll tell you why you have that. Gallbladder holds anger and um, bitterness. So if we, and feeling defeated. So if we're going through something with a situation or with somebody, um, and you, have, you hold on to a lot of anger, bitterness and stuff so much, Sometimes the headache just manifests. It's sort of saying, my gallbladder can't stand it anymore. It's much more <laughs> and, you know, I'm letting you know it's really hurting me. Um, and uh, that's what we do. We just clean it out and clear it out. And when you use Zendocrine oil, it's a detoxification blend. It just allows your body to detoxify from all that negativity. 
and um, it's like almost immediate for my mum, a lot of immediate comfort for her. So I've seen it in a few other people. I had a, one guy that um, he, he went to the hospital and um, I muscle tested and I said something about gallbladder and the, his sister texted me back a few, few hours later and they said, oh, the doctor finally figured it out. It's gallbladder infection. And she said, and I don't know why he's got such a big headache. And he's complaining about his headache. And I, I sent her a picture of the gallbladder meridian how it's all around the head. And she's like, oh, that makes sense. And I said, yeah, I'll try to help him with his gallbladder and the headache will, will be better. So interesting, huh? Now, if somebody has their gallbladder out mm -hmm. and they get headaches, yep. um, but they still have these feelings, can it still be related to that? Yep. Yep. It's, uh, as humans, there's something funny about it. Even if you remove certain organs or remove limbs, we still have some sort of phantom effect there. So people have itchy legs, even though that one leg is already amputated. Um, so we have people put a mirror in between their legs and scratch the ones that, that is existing and just looking into the mirror, imagining it's the other leg and they find comfort and relief. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and so sometimes you, have, you don't have a gallbladder anymore because it's, it's had a big beating. It could be generational beating, you know, like, you know, mum's kind of bitter, dad's kind of bitter, and, you know, we've had several generations of people, you know, have a tendency to be bitter, so, <clears throat> so it accumulates, and then when it gets to you, um, your gallbladder's not happy, and sometimes one thing the doctors think it would be really great is just to remove it altogether if it's infected or if it's causing you a lot of problems. But I'm telling you, the energy is still there and um, you're still capable of bitterness and anger just the same. <laughs> so we've got to re resolve the spiritual and the emotional side of it too. Yeah, it's interesting. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Surgically remove your emotional problems. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> still hanging around. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, any questions or comments? Because that's it. And there's a video of me in case I didn't make it back in time <laughs> or in case I get something too sleepy and unable to speak. <laughs> let's go. Ben, you need to add that praise. Jade's just uh, returned from, uh, it's, it's a pretty long flight and everything. And she's three up. airplanes. And, and, <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> and she's come here and she's, you know, sharing with us. That's all. So yeah. um, let's all give Jay back for another Good <laughs> job. Good job. Um, I'm so gosh damn we're passionate about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> get some sleep. Thank yeah. you everybody for attending. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we'll, we'll of course post this for everybody who wasn't able to make it tonight. And um, yeah, anything else anybody wants to say before we go ahead and close? Is this, I mean, I know you'll post it, but is it is it able to be downloaded and copied off too? Um, you mean the video? Um, just, just uh, the, the write-up write that you had, the write-up that Jade had, the oh. information was online. JadeBalden.com slash headaches. It's already there. Okay. And so it can be copied down. Okay. Copied, All right. Downloaded and that, the links can be shared. Yeah, the links can be okay. shared and, and that. The, the little graphic at the, up at the top with the hormonal the headaches, chat? just just right click on it and save image as, and that will download it um, straight to your okay. computer. So that's, yeah. Cause I have a meeting tomorrow, I'm gonna bring it to. <laughs> yeah, copy and paste, and we've got the text there as well. So yeah, we, we make it so you can share, share a like. And okay. No problem at all. Take it. Yep. All right, thank all right. you. Thank you guys. Good night, everybody. First thing Good there. night. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate uh, yeah. you attending. Thank you, Peaches. Um, and thank you, especially Debbie Westcott and Stacy, for helping us with technical issues. I we'll <laughs> tried to figure that one out, and I think we did it. Mm -hmm. That was tricky. <laughs> so, all right.